Ladies, we rock. So today, we're celebrating you, ladies. We're celebrating you with five things that you are good at. My goodness, the last two years have been what? How can I sum up the last two years in one word? Torturous? I wanted to take some time to try and find some meaning or to come to an understanding about the personal tragedies as well as the community tragedies that have happened over the past year. But there is no time because there have been too many and there is no end. So instead, I'm sending out a love letter to the women of my generation who are still here, who have lived through this most worst of times. Because we have a long history of life experience that we can draw on, and there are things that we are good at. So this is a gift to you who might still be looking for some sort of meaning, or in the lapse of meaning, a diversion. So speaking of a woman of my generation who is, who has that history to draw on, uh, I want to send a shout out to my friend Susan over at Little Poet. This video was actually inspired by a Zoom call that we had where we were just kind of talking around, talking about stuff, talking about a potential collab that we're going to be doing uh, in summer. And um, she made me think, kind of crystallize what uh, I had been sort of going through or churning around in my mind. And uh, as a result of that conversation, this video is happening. So if you like this kind of content, then you should check out Susan. Her channel, again, is called Little Poet. She is a beautiful, wonderful, kind, uh, inspirational woman who makes videos that are about our lives told in from a point of view of uh, a woman of our generation. So I'll leave her video link, I'll leave her channel rather link below and you can check her out. Now, I have five things to tell you about that we are good at, things that we know how to do. So number one, we know how to endure. Remember back in March 2020 when those of us over the age of 65 were confronted with the reality that there was an entity out there that could silently come into our homes and kill us? The whole country was in lockdown. We went into lockdown and we waited. And we learned the meaning of isolation. We learned about loneliness. And many of us, some of us, are still feeling the effects of that isolation and loneliness. But the women of my generation, we know how to endure. We know how to endure whatever life throws at us with grace and a smile to view life with a sense of humor, to be able to look up at the heavens and say, yes, this sucks, but I will deal with it. Because we know that this too shall pass. We have the strength of endurance for the long game. We can look our personal tragedies in the face and greet them with silence, humor, understanding, grace. Number two, we know how to take control of those things that we can control and let the rest of it go. We surrender them to spirit. We look for meaning where we can find it, often maybe months or years down the road. We have learned from our long, complicated history because we lost our innocence a long time ago. And although nothing can bring back the hour of splendor in the grass or glory in the flower, we will grieve not, rather find strength 
in what remains behind. Yes, we have the courage to change what we can and we have the wisdom to know the difference. Number three, we know the importance of trying new things. It requires breaking routines and establishing new ones. But we know the dangers of becoming fixed, entrenched, sedentary. The meaning of life by definition is constant change. This moment that we just shared, you're never going to get that back. No matter how many times you rewatch this video, you're never going to be affected the way you were when you experienced something for the very first time. Trying something new takes inspiration. It takes courage and a willingness to say yes. It takes looking at possibilities rather than limitations. Oh, I'm on a roll. <laughs> Number four. And may I say before that I came up with this video and this topic before the events at the Oscars. But number four, we know how to behave. We understand the rules of proper behavior. We know the importance of manners. We practice etiquette. We frequently say, please, and thank you. We hold the door open for someone who is older or may need assistance. We bring a, a small gift when we're invited into someone's home to thank them for their hospitality. These what, common courtesies make life more enjoyable. They show that we have respect for others and more importantly that we have respect for ourselves. It makes people feel comfortable when they're around you. Makes them feel safe. Knowing how to behave may be a lost art, but it's worth revisiting because you can feel confident that no matter the situation, you know what to do. Imagine what life would be like if we didn't have manners, etiquette, common courtesy, or standards of behavior. And finally, what may be my absolute favorite thing about us is that we know the value of a good mascara. We know because we don't leave home without it. You know, I was looking at a survey on Reddit where they polled women about the one makeup item that they cannot do without. Yep, it's confirmed. It's definitely mascara. And I totally agree because that's the one item for me. Do you agree? Or do you have another makeup item? Oh, and by the way, number two in that survey was brow pencil or brow pro uh, powder, a brow product. So there you go. All you need is a well-groomed eyebrow and fluffy lashes and you're good to go. You tell me, do you agree or no? All right, ladies, that is going to wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you happen to not be a member of my generation, then please, and you're seeing this, share it with someone you love who is. It's so important just to show people appreciation while they're here, that you understand a little bit about them and that you celebrate them. So on that note, I'm gonna leave you with my usual goodbye, short and sweet. I, until I see you in my next video, I'm wishing you a wonderful day, wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves, and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye!